Hi, I'm Angie and you're watching Dante's 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 Vaccinating. Now check this out guys, I got some great news for my brothers out there in the UK, London, or even Europe. If you've lost your hair or you have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back. Scalp micropigmentation by the Scalptist. So here's how it works, it's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Basically, you will end up with a short haircut with a shape up or an edge up. What they do is tattoo small dots that look like hair follicles in the areas where you lost your hair and then blend it with your existing hair. You can even choose what type of hairline you want, hard shape up or soft and natural finish. And to maintain it, all you gotta do is shave your hair every few days, which is something you were probably already doing anyway. Check out the scalp this on Instagram. See what these guys look like before. This is literally a hair magician guy. Man, I can tell you right now, I've never seen anything like this, but all I can say is it's a game changer for us men. So get in touch with them on Instagram at the scalp this. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? Man, I'm calling 2020 the mask off year because never have I seen so many people in one year take off their mask to show you who they really are. Now for me, ever since Trayvon Martin got killed, I've distanced myself from a lot of people. Some I've actually called my friends and others were just associates, but I completely cut them off once I found out who they really were. But 2020 just takes the mask off to a whole nother level. Because now I'm even seeing a lot of people in the comment section saying, damn, I've lost so many friends after they showed a complete different side of them that I didn't even know existed once we start talking about George Floyd or all the other many people that have been killed. I mean, even Paulie Malignaggi's comments are starting to pull a lot of the racists out to where they feel more comfortable posting comments agreeing with Paulie Malignaggi. In fact, if you notice, the last Paulie Malignaggi video I dropped where I just reported that he got fired from Showtime you'll notice there's not a whole lot of comments in the comment section from fans that are not black. But the ones that are in the comment section, they're all defending the racists, showing their true colors. And guys, I'm gonna tell you this. This is the one thing I respect about a racist like Pauli Malignaggi. He's living up to what he said. He's gonna own it. I always tell you guys, if you're gonna be a racist, own that shit. Don't backtrack. Don't try to offer fake apologies when you know you still feel the same way. This is why I respect Paulie. I didn't tell you guys this in my last video because it was like four or five in the morning when I was making a video out here in Thailand. So I didn't get deeper into the story of Paulie getting fired. But believe it or not, Showtime actually gave Paulie an opportunity to apologize for the racist remarks that he made. And he declined. He said, I'm not going to apologize. I'm sticking to what I said because that's who I am. And guys, when it comes to the lesser of two evils, I prefer the racist who's going to tell me straight up who he is and what he's about, as opposed to the guy who's going to sit here and say, no, 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 but I'm not a racist. I have black friends. My favorite fighter is Mike Tyson. I even have a black cousin-in-law. If you're going to be a racist, be proud of it. Don't live in denial. That's why I keep telling you, they should make being a racist an official religion. Because no one is ever ashamed of saying they're a Christian, they're a Muslim, right? They're Jewish, because that's your faith, right? But when it comes to being a racist, so many people want to be a racist, but they don't want the title that comes with being a racist. If they made it an official religion, you can proudly tell people when they tell you they're Christian, you can say, oh, I'm a racist. And the people you're talking to, they can say, oh, I already knew you were racist. I could tell by from the way you were talking. That way, no one is offended. The person calling you a racist, he doesn't feel uncomfortable, and you don't feel offended because he called you a racist, right? It works out for everyone. There'll be no more denial. There'll be no more feeling guilty. There'll be no more, hey, man, stop playing the race card. You just want to race bait. 
I am not a racist. Just because I have different views than you does not make me a racist, right? All the talking points they use when they're feeling guilty, all of that would be out of the window. So Paulie is owning up to what he said. He's not backing down. He's willing to lose his job over his comments about black people, even though the apology would have been towards all the black people, including mainly the black people he works with side by side, like Brian Custer, all of the black fighters that he covers, and probably a couple black people that he even calls his friends. He didn't feel that these black people were worth apologizing to because he's telling you, this is who I am. You either take it or leave it. I'm not changing the way I feel about you and I ain't gonna change who I am. So why should I apologize when I don't even mean it? And see, that is the reason why it doesn't make sense for companies or networks to make racist people apologize, especially when they're 30 years old, 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. The only type of person that may actually be genuine when they apologize about saying something racist is a five-year-old kid maybe a 10 year old kid at the most. But when you're 30, when you're 40, 50 and up, you know everything about racism. You know what's offensive and what's not offensive. You either care or you don't care. And Paulie was telling us he didn't care how us black people took it. This reminds me of a time I was at the gym. I've run into a lot of cats uh, walking around with Nazi tattoos and every single time I see them, I confront them all the time. Because I feel like if you're bold enough to walk around with a tattoo like that, you're challenging me. You're daring me to say something to you. And I'm going to give you exactly what you want. I don't give a damn how crazy you look or nothing. I'm going to check you on sight. And if it go down, it goes down, if you know what I mean. So I see one of these big dudes at the gym walking around and I see a tattoo and I notice I keep looking at it because it looks suspicious, but I get I walk up close on him and I look at it just to let him see me looking at it, right? And once I confirm that it's a Nazi tattoo, I tell him, hey man, you need to cover that shit up. I don't wanna see it. I told him, I said, look man, I come over here to work out, take my mind away from things, and I don't wanna be thinking about Nazis when I'm working out. And I told him exactly what I just said to you guys. When you wear a tattoo like that, it's almost like you're challenging, you're inviting people to come over and talk to you about the tattoo. I said to him, that's the real definition of race baiting. You're really trying to bait people in with that tattoo. So then we start talking more about the tattoo and keep in mind, this guy is kind of shocked because most people, they would ignore it. So he's kind of shocked that I'm even talking to him about this tattoo, and then he starts playing dumb. And here's my point that relates to what I was just talking about. This dude is in his 30s, right? He starts playing dumb. Oh man, I got the tattoo when I was young. I didn't know exactly what it meant. I said, how young? He said, oh, I was like about 27 or something like that. I said, man, you're not that stupid. Because if I learned about Nazis as a young teenager, there's no way you didn't know about it. Long story short, this guy is not living up to it like Pauli Malignaggi. And he keeps trying to play dumb. I didn't know, man. I didn't know what it was. And then eventually he starts telling me how he's probably going to get it removed and all of this. So after that conversation, I seen that guy about probably 15 more times at the gym. He made sure it was covered up. He never showed it again. It was covered up. Now keep in mind, guys, that man, he had his freedom of speech, freedom of expression. If he wants to wear a racist tattoo, he can do it. It's up to him. But guess what? I got freedom of speech and freedom of expression as well. So I have the right to check him and tell him what I think about the tattoo when I see it. And that's exactly what I did. Speaking of freedom of speech, this is what the racists in the comment section were saying to defend Pauli Malignaggi. They're all saying, hey man, it's freedom of speech. He should be able to say whatever he wants. Yeah, that's true. If you got your own network, if you got your own brand, then you can say whatever you wanna say. And if you start losing customers, you start losing viewers because of your beliefs, that's on you. But he doesn't have his own brand. He works for Showtime, so everything he says 
When it comes to Showtime, he's a reflection of that. How come none of you same fans said this when Nick Cannon got fired for his views, which were nowhere near as extreme as Pauli Malignaggi's? We know what time it is, don't we? Sitting over here saying freedom of speech, he shouldn't have got fired for that. Okay, so you're telling me if you own a big restaurant chain, right? And it turned out you had a couple racist employees that actually treated the customers bad and it ended up reaching national news to where the whole country is talking about these racist employees working at your company. Now people are thinking that your company is racist because you still allow them to work there, which is an implication that you condone what they said. Are you telling me you're gonna continue to allow them to work for your company while ruining your reputation? Now nah, you're not gonna do that. But if you did do it, it's up to you. And it's no problem if you wanna do that. I just wouldn't be going to your restaurant. And a lot of other people wouldn't be going to your restaurant. When I found out the founder of Papa John's, one of the largest pizza chains in the country, when I found out he was a racist, I immediately stopped going to his restaurant. Shortly after that, he was forced to step down because it was reported that Papa John's was losing millions of dollars because of Papa John, because of the founder's statements that he made about race. So these people in the comment section, they're just saying this to defend another racist because that's who they are. But one thing I will say to you fans in my comment section, to the racist ones at least, if you feel this way, don't hide on the internet, don't hide on YouTube, you know, with these fake profiles and people don't know who you are. You need to show who you are. Go on your Facebook, go on your Instagram, make a video sharing your views about black people or any other people. So everyone who personally knows you, they know what you're about. Take off the mask like Pauli Malignaggi did. If you believe there's nothing wrong with what you're saying and it's right, don't hide on the internet with fake profiles. No, put your face out there like my face is out there, like Paulie's face is out there. Let all your black friends know what you think about them. Let your employees and your coworkers know what you think about black people, like Paulie Malignaggi did. I mean, you in the comment section riding with Paulie, so why don't you ride with him all the way? Paulie was willing to lose his job for what he believed in. Are you willing to do the same? Now, speaking of Paulie losing his job, he does still work for Sky Sports. So apparently, Sky Sports, they said, hey man, we don't care what you said about them black folks. Just keep giving us that good old commentary, Paulie. It's pretty ironic because it was a UK YouTube reporter um, from IFL TV that actually got Paulie Malignaggi in this hot water. I won't say he got him fired, but he definitely set up all the pins for Paulie to knock down. And Paulie, he knocked them all down. It was a strike. So if Sky Sports doesn't mind Pauli Malignaggi being a racist, that's up to them. You know, Pauli Malignaggi, he almost reminds me of the Bill Clinton of boxing when it comes to commentary. Like Bill Clinton, you know, when he was the president, a lot of black people, they love Bill Clinton. They used to joke and say he was the first black president. He used to play the saxophone. He had that laid back type of tone when he talked. And people thought there's no way this guy could be racist. He's too cool. He's too laid back, right? All of a sudden, once a black man started to run for president and Barack Obama, Bill Clinton's mask came off. And he said to Ted Kennedy, when it comes to Barack Obama, he said, you know, about 20, 30 years ago, this man would be bringing us coffee, implying that Obama was inferior to him because of his race. It's just so funny because shortly after that, Obama, he becomes president, beats Bill Clinton's wife, and now Obama has people that look like Bill Clinton bringing him coffee, bringing, cooking his food, cleaning his yard, watching his kids. Amazing how the tables turn, huh? That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. You know, I always say on this channel, pay-per-view fights should actually be free. And now the day has come where I'm about to hook you up with an app where you can watch all your pay-per-view events, boxing, UFC, etc., for free. 
I want to introduce Block TV, the best internet streaming television app out there. They provide over 3,600 channels, including HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars. They have a massive video on demand library with over 40,000 of the new release movies and the latest TV series. And it also includes DVR. So you're getting all of this for $34.99 a month. And once again, that includes free pay-per-view. So this one right here is a no-brainer, guys, because back in Las Vegas, I was paying damn near 200 bucks a month for my cable. Those days are long gone now. So to get the app, make sure you guys go over to GetBlockTV.com and put in my promo code and get 30% off your first month. You also get a free month for every friend you refer. The promo code is DBNation.